layers of sediment as uh, constructive waves deposit material on the beach. This is probably, this coarser material is probably more a function of a storm condition where the coarse material is deposited. Um, the smaller the waves, the finer the material. But one way, since we're at the mouth of the Santa Clara, one way you can tell the difference between beach sediment and river sediment is river sediment is as it comes down the beach like this big rock right here. This is a perfect one. It looks volcanic. It's big and round and really coarse. It means it rolled down the river like a ball. And so the edges are eroded off and just keeps that round texture as it goes down. But when you get to the beach and you get waves, so it's, it's multi-directional or bi-directional, what's gonna happen is the waves are gonna push the rock up, it's gonna flip over, it's gonna push it back down, it's gonna flip over, and so it wears on two sides and they become flat. These are the good skipping rocks. So when you're looking at sediment, even in these cross-bedded areas, if you see the flat ones, you know that they were impacted by waves. And if you see the more rounded ones like this, then that's a river deposit. So that's how you can tell the difference. If you're looking at landsliding or glaciers, the rocks will have no particular shape to them. They'll be really angular. Their edges won't have been worn off, but that's a perfect example. And so is that one. Wow. Huh. Pretty cool. Is it one about river versus ocean? Yeah. Uh, 